In this video, I'm going to explain anatomy and function of iliacus. This is very important muscle for pelvic movement and hip movement. Let me talk about its attachment. I'm going to explain its origin. Origin of iliacus is inside part of pelvis. This part, this concave surface is iliac fossa okay iliac fossa then it goes down 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 then actually around this area psoas and iliacus kind of fuse together it's like this now these two muscles are oftentimes called iliopsoas but i want to separate iliacus and psoas in this video anyway iliacus originates from iliac fossa goes down goes down goes down then insertion is backside of femur this bump you see that this bony bump this is lesser trochanter lesser trochanter by the way this part is greater trochanter this part is lesser trochanter okay origin is iliac fossa iliac fossa then insertion is lesser trochanter right here so let me explain its function do you remember origin and insertion iliac fossa and lesser trochanter when iliacus contracts that brings femur this way right because contractions happens this way right what happens when iliacus contracts that makes flexion you see the slack of tape this tape is very flexible so you can see slack in reality this slack means shortening right shortening of muscle means contraction right when muscle contracts that shortens so in this video in this time when tape slacks that means contraction in reality so this movement is flexion hip flexion by the way this is very interesting when i bring hip joint to extension extension c tape stretches in reality stretch means stretching that makes sense extension function of iliacus is flexion see i know this tape is very interesting main function is flexion and you see this direction of uh, iliacus it runs like kind of diagonally so when iliacus pulls femur this way that does slight external rotation this model doesn't do external rotation so please imagine external rotation flexion and external rotation this is hip movement how about movement about pelvis when hip joint is stabilized when femur is stabilized let's imagine you are standing you know then hip joint is stabilized when iliacus contracts that brings pelvis this way right because vector of contraction is now this way what happens it's gonna make pelvic rotation this is anterior tilt see this tape slacks that means contraction pelvic anterior tilt anterior tilt from profile view it's like this see the tape slacks anterior tilt okay so review of function main function is hip flexion slight external rotation and pelvic anterior tilt this muscle is very important for hip movement and pelvic movement if you liked today's video please hit the like button comment and subscribe see you next video